Dave Rossum here with Sophia Goriron. Uh, just turned 16 pretty recently and first Olympic trials. What do you think your experience here so far? Oh, I thought it was like a very cool experience and like really good, like very professional and just, it was like best people in the country that I was racing with. So it was just really fun and cool. So your PR was 202.44 coming in, and then yes. you ran a new PR of 202.26 yes. in the heats. Um, is that about what you were expecting coming in? Um, no, I was say I was expecting like a faster time, but it's like a championship racing, I guess. So not everything will like turn out how you want it to. How did how did uh, your heat itself play out? Any expectations coming in? A little slower start than you wanted, or? Um, yeah, I was kind of like thinking they would go out a little faster maybe, and they did, but yeah. Okay, so uh, what, when did you start running? What got you into running and how old were you? I was around three and a half or four and my fam, my whole family ran, so it kind of just like got me into the, the running, like mindset, I guess. Yeah. My brother and my sister ran for like a club team that my dad coached, so I would just go over there with them. And like, I would have nothing to do, so I would just run, I guess. Okay, and and your parents were both pretty decent athletes. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, um, my dad played football and ran track at Brown, and my mom like ran by herself during like college and after college and still runs, and so does my daddy still runs. But... So you can thank them for the genetics and the fast twitch muscle fiber, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And you're gonna run again here next week in the uh, national championships for high school, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, any any plans going to that meet? Just gonna run the 800 again, or gonna run some other events? Um, I think I think I'm gonna run like the 400 and maybe the mile. Okay. Yeah. I don't All know right. about the 800 yet, but probably not. Yeah. Okay, and hopefully a little bit cooler than this weekend. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So one thing a lot of people don't know is that uh, your time here broke Mary Decker's national sophomore class record. Mm -hmm. So fastest American ever that for a sophomore in high school. When somebody tells you that, I mean, knowing that you set the standard for generations to follow, because that was a very old record. It stood since 1974. Yeah. So, I mean, to know that you've done something that stood for that long, how, you know, what goes through your mind when somebody tells you things like that? Um, yeah, it was a good feeling. Um... I mean, I know, like, I know about Mary Decker and, like, how, like, good she was, I guess. And so, I guess, like, I'm happy with breaking that record. Like, and so, yeah. does it go through your mind, you know, that, like, I ran faster than Mary Decker did at age 16, what have you, and you know what she accomplished future in her career. Does that kind of, like, give you the incentive to think, I can accomplish those same sort of things and run those same sort of times? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then uh, so you're based out of the Providence, Rhode Island area right now, and then uh, you're going to start looking at colleges here in the next couple of years as well. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts uh, on that so far? Um, no, I'm not really sure where I want to go yet, or I don't really have an idea yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. And so talk a little bit about the people that you're training with back home, uh, just your regular high school team, or do you have some others that you train with? Um, I've been training with like my brother and my sister. I train separately for my high school, but also like run meets for my high school. So yeah, my brother's my training partner and also my sister. That's very cool. And how old's your brother? Um, he's 20. Okay. And my sister's 18. Okay. And they both ran track in high school as well? Yeah, my brother runs for BU and my sister ran track in high school. She's going to play lacrosse at UPenn this upcoming year. And uh, my understanding, you're a very good uh, lacrosse player as well. One of the top 15 okay. lacrosse players in the country is my understanding. Is that right? Yeah, around there. <laughs> so talk a little bit about that as a sport and how long have you been doing that? Um, I've started in like third grade, I think. And I like, I love it like probably just as much as I love track. So, yeah. All right. So any plans uh, for the rest of your time here in the Eugene and Portland area? I might like go visit some schools, like just walk around campus and yeah, nationals. You've seen Pre's Rock and all the other uh, sites in the area here so far, so very good. Well, we just want to thank you for your time today and uh, congratulate you on uh, your effort in the Olympic trials.